This is the third in a series of videos on properties of functions, and this one deals with y is equal to absolute value of x. Now, when we talk about the properties of functions, what we talk about are the following basic properties, domain and range, continuity, increasing, boundedness, extrema, symmetry, asymptotes, and then behavior. And the way that we study these is we memorize the graphs of the different functions. So let's look at y equals absolute value of x. If you think about y equals absolute value of x, the function is going to have properties very similar to y equals x squared. The first step is, is it's going to have a vertex at 0, 0. And now what it's going to be is it's going to increase in a straight line, and this is actually going to be a 45 degree line. Another way you think about it is you can think about that as having a slope of 1. And then in the negative direction, it's going to have a slope of minus 1. And that's going to be a 45 degree angle. And if you wanted to, you could draw a little table, x and y is equal to absolute value of x. If the absolute, if x is negative 2, then the absolute value will be 2. If x is minus 4, the absolute value is 4. If x is 2, the absolute value is 2. And if x is 4, the absolute value is 4. So you get a graph that looks just like this. And this is a slope of 1. This is going to be a slope of minus 1. So let's go through the properties. And a good way to do that is just do a straight sketch. Well, let's look at these first. This is going to be the basic stretch. That's the vertex 0, 0. 45 degree line and a 45 degree line. So domain and range are actually going to be exactly like they were for um, um, parabola y equals x squared. The domain is all real numbers. If in, in interval notation we can say negative infinity to infinity. The range, if you notice the range is everything from y equals 0 to more positive. So that's going to be from 0 to infinity, right? x can be anything. y is any number 0 or larger, more, more positive. That's domain and range. Let's think about continuity. Continuity has to do with if there are any points of discontinuity. In this graph, there is not. So we say we're, it's continuous at all points. Or sometimes you say continuous over the interval minus infinity to infinity, which is exactly the same thing. Let's look at increasing and decreasing. The function is increasing. Now remember, let's think about increasing and decreasing. Increasing has to do with whether y, whether, increasing has to do with whether y increases or decreases. So if you notice, this is the region of the graph right here where y is increasing. And we define it in terms of y. So it says it increasing over um, 0 to infinity. And that's the interval over which it's increasing. All we're saying is it's in, y is increasing in this part of the graph right here. And where is it decreasing? It's decreasing over there. So it's decreasing over the interval minus infinity to 0. And last one is boundedness. The question is, is it bounded from above or below? Well, there's no limit to how large y can be, but y is never lower than 0, so we say it's bounded from below. And those are your first four properties. Domain and range, continuity, increasing and decreasing, and boundedness. The next problem, property we're going to look, la, look at is extrema. That is, are there any maxes or mins, and then they're local or are they um, global? Well, you can look at that by looking at the graph. If this is the graph here, then the lowest y can be is at that point right there. So we say that is a minimum. And you say, so the minimum, there's a minimum at... 0, 0, or a minimum at x equals 0. Both of those are fine ways to say it. 
symmetry has to do with whether it's even or odd, and this is, turns out to be an even function, which means it is symmetric across the y-axis. That's what even means. And the way to remember this is even is this looks very much like y equals x squared, and x squared is an even function. And think about it. the next step is whether there are asymptotes and there are no asymptotes. And then the last step is the in behavior. And let's look at that. In behavior has to do with what happens to the function as x gets very large, positive or negative. We're going to write it in limit notation, so we're going to write limit absolute value of x as x goes to infinity or negative infinity, let's do negative infinity first and then the limit as x goes to positive infinity of absolute value of x. If you notice that as x goes to negative infinity that's moving along the x-axis in this direction y gets larger and larger positive so that's infinity and as x goes to positive infinity so as x goes in this direction what happens to y? y goes to positive infinity as well and that's the in behavior, and that's the properties of y equals absolute value of x.